Thousands of Muslims in China's capital, Beijing, flocked to mosques on Monday to celebrate their main festival, Eid Fetch. Prayers and preaching by imams started in the early morning. Eid Fetch holiday is one of the main festivals of Muslims that signals the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, a season of fasting and spiritual reflection. The Eid holiday is one of the three main holidays for Muslims. This is the happiest day for us after a whole month of observing Ramadan. During Ramadan, the ninth month of the year in the lunar calendar, Muslims refrain from eating, drinking and smoking from sunrise to sunset. But children, elderly people and the weak do not have to observe the fast. Ma Zhongjie, vice president of the China Islamic Association, says the government has been supportive of the holiday. All the government officials and Han people congratulated us and showed their respects to us. There are more than 80 mosques in Beijing, and lots of people have come out to pray. A local Muslim said the ethnic riot that occurred in western China's Xinjiang province did not affect the life of Muslims in Beijing. Our life is as normal as before, and we don't get discriminated because of the Xinjiang ethnic riots. Violent street battles killed nearly 200 people in the deadliest ethnic unrest that hit China's volatile western Xinjiang region in July. Uyghur activist Rabia Qadir, who was accused of instigating the riot, says Chinese policies are diluting their culture and marginalizing them economically. Ma, on the other hand, doesn't agree. We have the policy of freedom of religious belief. The government supports our activities and there aren't any challenges for Chinese Muslims. One challenge maybe is that some Muslims are poor and can't get enough food. That's one challenge. China now has 21 million Muslims, half being of the Hui minority group. The month-long Islamic holiday has come and gone without any hitches, despite the ongoing concern in Xinjiang and the government's security measures in preparation for the 60th anniversary of the People's Republic of China. The Muslims we've talked to feel optimistic about the future. Kathleen Chen.